Hello to all the viewers of Tech Geek SG. Today we have the P8H67-V motherboard from ASUS uh, and I'm going to do unboxing. Firstly, this is actually the new chipset, which is the H67 uh, from Intel uh, and socket, socket LGA 1155, which is the second generation of the uh, Core i5, Core i3 and Core i7. Uh, it supports yet, yeah, as I said, uh, Intel Core series, the second generation and Windows 7 rating, of course. As you can see over here, it is um, it's a H67 chipset. What does it mean? There's actually um, video output compared to the P67 which only does uh, your graphics card this has integrated graphics which is on the core i7 pro or the i5 or i3 processor itself uh, also dual channel DDR3 at uh, native at 1333 there's HDMI, DVI and a VGA output USB 3.0 as well as the SATA 6 gigabit per second is finally native to the south bridge of the H67 as well as the P67 uh, Crossfire X uh, GPU boost which is a uh, ASUS initiative and Turbo V EPU and a new thing to the previous motherboards is of course the FE BIOS which is give you a uh, quite a graphical user interface in the BIOS we'll take a look uh, later auto tuning mem okay protect 3.0 and that's all so now let us unbox the P8H67-V motherboard from ASUS Firstly, let's take a look at the accessories that come with it. We get our I.O. shoe, okay. Then we have um, two SATA cables, a IDE cable. That means, um, well, they haven't got rid of the IDE interface. And we have a quick start guide, as well as the P8H67-V user guide, and the ASUS case patch, and this is the driver CDs and installation CD. Alright now, then lifting this up, this cupboard, this cardboard, we have the motherboard itself. Let's take a look. Okay, over here we have an 8-pin power connector as well as the 1155 uh, socket, LGA 1155. Here you have four memory DIMM slots. That's for your DDR3 and your IDE. You should really get rid of that, I think. And 24-pin motherboard connector. Maybe I'll let you take a look at the whole motherboard first. A pretty nice um, build with a I think quite a good design with the blue and black uh, combination. A pretty beefy soft bridge heat sink, and we have all the different outputs. Here we have, you can take a look. If I say it, as I said, there's a even USB 3.0, HDMI interface, and low EMI. Crossfire X3D. That's the Turbo Evo chip. Turbo V chip. Okay, let's continue the tour over here. Something very special. We have the GPU boost button. Once you switch the switch to another, to the other side, for example, like that, you automatically overclock your IGP, your integrated graphics processor. That's inside the. Uh, the graphic, uh, I mean the processor itself. Pretty nice. Moving on, we have the DRAM LED and the MEM OK button to make sure that your RAM will post if there's even an uh, incompatibility with the motherboard and 24 pin motherboard connector. We can see pretty nice. There's actually a uh, something special, it's a 4 pin power uh, fan connector instead of a 3 pin. Yep, so it's kind of get the pulse width modulation so it allows your motherboard to actually control the fan from here here we have the soft bridge heat sink and then here we have the SATA 6 gigabits per second two of them are 6 gigabit while the rest are uh, of the SATA 2.0 which is uh, at 3 gigabits per second we have the front panel uh, connectors 
Okay, we have four USB headers making up a total of eight for expansion. This is the COM one. Okay, let's move on to the expansion slots. PCI Express X1, then we have X16, another X1. Then we have a PCI 2.2 and another uh, X16 slot which allows you to have your Crossfire X set up and another PCI 2.2 Since there's no uh, native PCI uh, bandwidth from the H67 chipset they actually use a bridge chip to have the to allow you to have the three PCI 2.2 slots you have the Realtek audio chip over here Gigabit LAN Okay Let's move on to the input output interfaces that this board has Firstly, it's a This is a PS2 port that supports both your mouse and the keyboard There's only one of them Two USB 2.0, your SPDIF, HDMI, VGA, and DVI. So actually, um, no matter what kind, almost what kind of monitors you are using, you have support for it without a graphics card, uh, provided that you use a 1155 chip that is capable of doing graphics. We have the USB 3.0. Let's stick it over here. Yeah, five gigabit per second bandwidth and gigabit LAN. Two more USB. 2.0 and you have your audio from here 8 channel audio uh, We'll take a look at the FE BIOS later uh, at the second part of this video and also at some of the overclocking features and other stuff like that so uh, stay tuned to Technic SG uh, take a look at the other videos once they are done and thank you